is Take Two Movie Review. I'm Kim Lowe. This week, it's the same word backwards and forwards. Christopher Nolan's new action thriller Tenet is the film tasked with bringing throngs back to the theaters after the quarantine. It certainly has a lot going for it. A quarter billion dollar budget buys a lot of effects, slick editing, over-the-top sound mixing, and plot twists if by the dollar. It's the last point where this one's problems emerge. In our allotted time, only the most general plot description is possible. Our hero, identified in the credits only as the protagonist, played by John David Washington, is an agent with no backstory whatever, working for the tenant organization, trying to prevent an apocalypse by manipulating the flow of time. Early on, a white-coated scientist explains the basics. Having studied objects from the future with so-called inverted entropy, she's determined that there exists in the future a weapon that can destroy the past, which is to say our present. Enter a sadistic Russian arms dealer, his victim wife, and the protagonist's mandatory sidekick, brought off by Kenneth Branagh, Elizabeth Debicki, and Robert Pattinson, respectively, and we're off to what the New Yorker reviewer Anthony Lane calls Mission Indecipherable. Set amidst postmodern grandeur, big yachts, and with the multi-continental shooting we know Nolan loves, we get gunplay, car chases, and military operations in real and inverted time. Ironically, along with modern effects, a la his inception, most of the dazzle here is one of the oldest cinematic effects there is, running things backwards. So two questions emerge. Can a movie be considered good if you need an external plot summary to figure it out? And if it can be, should you consult that summary before or after you see it? Can it certainly look smart, but you might not feel that way leaving the theater. This has been Take Two Movie Review. I'm Kim Lowe. Catch up with us at TakeTwoMovieReview.com and feed us back on our channel on YouTube.